Hey everybody, so I know earlier this week I talked a little bit about the schools, particularly Tippecanoe School Corporation and the things that they're dealing with with regard to racism and bullying. Uh, I'm going to spend a little bit more time talking about the high schools tomorrow, but today I'm standing in front of Edgelia Elementary School because I wanted to highlight the fact that the elementary schools need some of our prayers too. So I'm asking you to pray with me today, particularly for the elementary schools in the area. Um, this is a part of the Lafayette School Corporation. And I was on their website earlier today and I noticed that they've done a lot of work over this last summer to try to help prepare their teachers for some of the weirdness of this coming school year. Particularly, they've done a lot of training with regard to emotional intelligence and, and things like that. Um, but that just raises the issue that we're dealing with a highly emotionally charged uh, time right now. So the Lafayette School Corporation has already decided they are going to mandate masks for all of their buildings and all of their buses with regard to protecting the safety and the health of all the people who are participating. The, the children, their families, the staff, the administration, the teachers. And listen, the thing that is biggest on my heart for us to be praying about today is the stress that all the teachers and the administrative staff have to face with regard to all of this. I'm certain that right now, kids are gonna be coming to the school, emails are gonna be coming to the school, parents are gonna be calling the school, some of them supporting their decisions and some of them just absolutely hating their decisions. But I know that we can lift them up in prayer. And so I'm asking you to join me in that. I'm asking you to join me in prayer for the staff, the teachers, the students, and the parents. But I want to ask you to pray for one extra thing. In particular, would you join me in praying that the Christians connected to these schools would be sources of salt and light to the people in the schools? Would you join me in praying that the parents who are also part of a local church would take the approach of being supportive and encouraging to the people who are making the decisions in the school system? And would you join me in prayer that the teachers who are also Christians, would be supportive and encouraging to the parents while also maintaining the dignity of the decisions that the leadership has made. Listen, this is a difficult time, but the one thing that I'm hoping for during this time is that the Christians who are involved in these areas would step forward to be the salt and the light that Jesus calls us to be. So join me in prayer. Pray for the students, the teachers, the staff, the administrators. Pray for all of the people involved in the elementary schools that God would lift them up, give them wisdom and encouragement and love. But also join me in praying that all of the Christians who are part of the families and all of the Christians who are surrounding these schools, that we would join together to be salt and light to them. We know this is a difficult time. And if we can bear some of their burdens with them, I'm certain God will be glorified. Join me in that prayer today.